Hi, and we're going to take a look at this Nissan Leaf. It's my new vehicle that we purchased. Um, it's obviously an EV and it's a 2011 car. Let's just have a quick tour and have a look around the vehicle. Uh, this is the G-Spec car. So it's got a lot of the top specs and a lot of extras like Pro Pilot. And it's quite a nice looking vehicle. Very Nissan looking. Quite sporty in some, some respects. And you can see around here, got a little bit of Nismo detailing, um, but it's not a Nismo spec, which is the sportier vehicle. And come around and have a look at the front. This is the area we're going to take, spend a little bit more time looking at, uh, which is the charging port, because this video is about how to charge. It's not like a petrol car, you're going to need to be charging this with electricity. That's your fuel. So this is the key fob, and you can use this to actually open up your charging port. Um, by holding and depressing that button for about a second. So you hear that flap open and you hear the beep, which indicates the vehicle is now ready to open up and charge. So you just open the flap like that, just pull it up gently, opens up. And then here you can see the two different charging ports, the one on your right and the orange. This is the one you're going to use quite frequently for your home charging. Uh, so this is referred to as a, a Type 1 charger. And then the one on your left here, that's a Chatamo charger. And that's for your rapid fast charges, typically at different stations that you'll visit when you're traveling. One aspect to think about is um, you need to make sure that your vehicle is actually ready to start charging. Um, this can sometimes trip you up actually. But in here within your EV settings, uh, you've got your different controls. So um, one part that we'll talk about briefly is the lock. So you can either have that set to auto, lock or unlock. So that's quite important, which we can talk a little bit about in a moment. And if we go down, these are your timers. So this is what you're going to need to set up. And when you come home, so you can schedule your charging to commence, usually on the off-peak power, so you can take advantage of the lower cost electricity. So in here, you can turn that on, obviously, set your times, and that's really easy to do. We actually have to put that on, and then you can move down. And you can see that you can set the time um, and the days of the week. It's probably also worth quickly mentioning the climate control feature timer. So in this one here, you can actually set it so that the vehicle will turn on and warm up for whatever your departure time is. So that's quite a convenient thing, especially in the colder months. I guess you could also do that for the hotter months as well um, and set it to cool. But yeah, typically I guess you'll be using this when you're wanting to heat the car. In this area here, there's got there's the button for turning off and on the timer. So if you've got your timer set on um, and if you want to charge at a charging station, uh, when you plug it in, that's actually not going to be working. So you need to make sure that you turn that off. Uh, so it just toggles on and off. Let's try that a little bit again to show you the lights. Uh, so if you toggle that on and off, you see on the dash, so charge now. And then it's going back to whatever my charge timer is set and charge now. So that charge now, if I'm at a charging station, I want that to be showing. And then I want the light to be showing there so it's ready to charge and it's not set on a timer because unfortunately if you leave it on the timer and you come back you'll find that your vehicle hasn't actually been charging at all. So when you're charging at home you'll probably have a charger like this. Um, so this is just one that plugs into your three-point plug um, and it's capable of charging just over three kilowatts, um, three kilowatts per hour. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just stick that into the type one port very easy, just line it up, push it in, and it will click. And then the vehicle beeps and the lights light up and it's now showing you that the car is now charging. Of course, when you do this, when the vehicle's got a timer on, you don't have that same response. It just starts kind of flicking through the lights to indicate that it's ready to activate the timer at a later time. You may have heard the locking device mechanism, and that was what I was talking about before, that came in and locked. Um, so you can either have that set to on, off, or auto, like I said. And so on, obviously, it will always activate. Or um, off, it will not activate at all. And then auto, it will turn on and off, depending on if you lock and unlock the vehicle. I've just gone and pressed the unlock button, which is the fuel button, the fuel flap unlock button. And so that's disengaged now, so I'm able to remove that again. So that was a really quick look at how you can charge and how you charge at home on your leaf. If you're interested in this kind of material, let me know. 
Um, I'd love to tell you a little bit more about the vehicle and different aspects of owning an EV. And this is just us starting out with our EV only a couple of months into it, but this is some of the stuff that is really useful to know in advance. As this is a new channel, if you like the video, simply click like, that would be great, greatly appreciated. And as always, follow the channel and we hope to add more video content soon.